Hello and welcome to the Counterman Education Center. Today we are going to look into the world of automotive batteries. We talk a lot here about the battery in the car and how important it is to the vehicle's operation. The primary function of the battery is to provide current for vehicle operations when needed. Because the battery does not create any current or energy on its own, it has to be able to store this energy, and in some cases, for long periods of time. The first commercially acceptable battery was developed by a Frenchman, Gaston Planté, in 1859. This battery was of the flooded acid style. This type of battery is still the most prevalent type used today. The flooded acid lead battery is a series of batteries combined to create the desired voltage. Each cell is comprised of lead plates submerged in an acid solution. This type of battery produces 2.1 volts per cell. Combining six of these cells creates the 12.6 volts we are using today. This style battery does have its weaknesses, heat, vibration, and constant charging and discharging. All in all, this style of battery has served the industry well for over 150 years. Today, there's a lot of conversation about AGM, or absorbent glass mat batteries. This battery is similar to the traditional lead acid battery in that it uses both, but the plates are wrapped in glass matting that holds the electrolyte against the plate more tightly and therefore is more efficient. This style also is less susceptible to vibration damage. Another style battery is the gel cell battery. This style of battery is excellent in environments where it might be inverted or tipped over. Mainly used in power sports vehicles, it is driven by the same lead acid chemistry but the plates have a different chemical makeup and the acid is in a gel form. The last style to discuss today is the deep cycle battery. This battery is designed to be discharged over a slower period and then be recharged after use. This type of service can damage a starting style battery, but is very well suited for the deep cycle battery. These will be mainly found in marine applications as well as golf carts. That wraps up the main types of batteries used today, not including the EV vehicle batteries that we will cover in a separate episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.